hello students we were saying that how actually one of the servants who was actually the thief once went to the narrator's house and actually uh, sorry went to the ahmed's roof and saw that ahmed um, was actually indicated him as this is the one while he was actually eating that date khazur but that um, uh, thief uh, the servant understood that he was actually indicating him and so while returning um, to the meeting place of thieves he explained he told everything to the chief but chief didn't believe of him and chief said that tomorrow you two of you will go so what happens here that so the next night the servant returned to ahmed's roof with another of the thieves as they were listening ahmed at a second date and said so what happens here student that you know when the on the next day when two thieves actually went to ahmed's house to look um, um whether um, um, whatever he said is right or not uh, on that day actually uh what happens uh, he uh, the servant went this day with another thieves and as they were listening ahmed at another uh, date on that day and then he would say while eating that date you know you know you saw in the story that he will he eat one date uh, every day to actually um, make him realize that how many days have passed so on the next day he was eating the second date and that's you that is why ahmed actually spoke up that's two so the thieves under thieves thought that they were actually he was actually indicating them thieves were listening from the roof and they actually understood that he they ahmed is actually indicating them while ahmed was actually indicating the date not they ahmed ko उन चोरों को लग रहा था कि हमें इंडिकेट कर रहा है वाइल अहमद वॉज एक्चुअली इंडिकेटिंग टू द डेट दैट ही वॉज ईटिंग डेट मीन्स खजूर द थीप्स नियरली टम्बल्ड ओवर ईच अदर एज द फ्लेड द रूफ एंड रेस्ड बैक टू द चीफ द सर्वेंट टोल्ड हिम सो वॉट हेयर अगेन यू नो बोथ दिस थीप्स आफ्टर हियरिंग दिस ऑलमोस्ट टम्बल्ड ओवर द वर्ड tumbled over here the student suggests that they were almost about to fall down from the roof and they just raced back the raced back phrase it's telling to you that they just hurried back to the place and um, to the chief and told him everything so now a servant is telling to the chief that he knew there were two of us we heard of heard him say that's two so what uh, ahmed actually spoke that that's two the thieves understood that thieves um, thought that he is considering us uh, he is indicating us and that is why uh, they went to the chief and told him that he knew everything and he actually indicated us that we are two now chief was a bit surprised and that is why he said it can't be aisa kaise ho sakta it's such a you know Mm, impossible thing. How it is possible that someone would get to know so um, uh, how many people are there um, um, uh, on the on the roof without seeing, without seeing. So now actually, uh, so the night after that, he sent three of the thieves, and the next night four, and then five, and then six, and so it went till the fortieth night when the chief said. Actually, what happens, uh, students, that in this way, one after the another, you know, the chief start to send every night uh, one more uh, thieves. First, he send the first servant, second, uh, two thieves, third day, three thieves, fourth day, fourth thieves, and each and every day uh, at the same time. Uh, uh what was his name ahmed was eating a date and he was counting the date that that's two that's three that's four that's five so in this way all thieves understood that they are he is actually de denoting them he is actually indicating them and they mm, came to the conclusion that this ahmed actually this diviner actually knows everything so they were very worried so after when 40th day came 
चीफ सेट टू देम दैट दिस टाइम आई विल गो माई सेल्फ सो वट हैपन देयर नाउ सो ऑल फोर्टी थिप्स क्लाइंट अप टू अहमद रूफ टू लिशन इन साइड अहमद गेज एट द लास्ट डेट इन द जार देन सैडली टुक इट आउट एंड एट इट सो वॉट हैपन्स इट वेन ऑन द फाइनल डे वेन चीफ हिमसेल्फ वेन टू दें टू द अहमद हाउस टू सी वॉट द रियलिटी इज सो ऑन द फोर्टी एथ डे अहमद वॉज एक्चुअली सींग द जार एंड ही वॉज एक्चुअली टेकिंग आउट द लास्ट ऑफ द डेट्स एंड देन ही वॉज ईटिंग इट एंड अहमद वाई ईटिंग इट ही विल डेफिनेटली से दैट दैट्स फोर्टी वन नाउ दैट्स फोर्टी एथ यही चालीस में द नंबर इज कम्प्लीट नाउ द डेज हैव कम्प्लीटेड एंड आई विल हैव टू गो टू द रॉयल कोर्ट दैट्स वॉट अहमद थोट सो नाउ जमेल एक्चुअली सैट बिसाइड हिम एट दैट टाइम जमेल वॉज एक्चुअली सिटिंग बिसाइड हिम एंड जमेल इज टेलिंग टू अहमद इन अ वेरी जेंटल टोन ड्यूरिंग दीज फोर्टी डेज आई हैव बिन थिंकिंग आई वॉज रॉन्ग टू मेक यू बी अ डिवाइनर you are what you are and i should not have tried to make you something else can you forgive me now actually jamel was realizing her fault you know in the beginning it was jamel who actually forced the hammer to become a diviner because he was not earning enough that jamel could afford a luxurious life so jamel actually asked ahmed to become a diviner but now jamel is regretting of her this decision and that is why he sees asking for 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 forgiveness to ahmed that whether he would whether he would forgive her or not because she is thinking that now he could not to fulfill the king's desire whatever he wants from his um, whatever he wants from ahmed and ahmed will be hanged ahmed will be given the death sentence so um, jamel was regretting of making him a diviner and that is why she is asking for forgive forgiveness from ahmed but ahmed is telling that i forgive you jamel but the fault is mine as well i should not have done what i knew i was not wise uh, i i knew was not wise but none of this help us now so ahmed was actually told ahmed uh, jamel that i will forgive you but the fault is not only words fault was mine also so ahmed is actually um, thinking that it was not only yours fault but it was both of us that made some mistakes and 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 for which we are paying now and but these things are not going to help now uh, we will have to face this situation now the time has passed and once the time passed will never come back now regretting on that reprinting on that will not make anything so now actually uh, ahmed was quite uh, you know we were saying that he was hopeless he is uh, he is thinking that um, he will be given the death sentence he will be killed by the king because he will not know uh, that who the thief who the thieves are and his fraudery will be caught now so um, but what happens there just where they were talking these things you know just then came a loud banging at the door and what happens um when the banging banging means you know uh, with the thrusting sound on the gate darwaza patkne ki awaaz aayi after hearing this ahmed knew that this is this is the king's man this is the royal man who has come to fetch him so ahmed actually told them the king's man already all right all right i know why you are here so he told to his wife that the king's men are already here you know they have arrived to fetch me so he told them all right i am coming i know why you have come here why you have come actually you have come to fetch me so i am going with you no need to worry you just stay there one second so now here what happens student that he swung the door open 
to his uh, to his astonishment he saw 40 men kneeling before him and touching their heads to the ground again and again so actually as soon as the ahmed opened the door it was not the king's men it was actually the 40 men who was kneeling before him kneeling before him means they were sitting on their knees in front of ahmed and actually they were touching their heads were on the ground again and again so they were just thrusting their heads on the ground so and the chief of the thieves was actually saying that of course you know o oh great diviner nothing can be hidden from you but we beg you not to give us away so now what happens here student that you know the chief of the thief is telling to ahmed that um, you mighty diviner you know everything because they um, thought that you know whatever uh, ahmed was telling that's one that's two that's 48 you know they think that uh, he knows everything in real and he will tell this to the king and we will be caught and we will be punished that's what the chief of the thieves thought so now he is requesting he is begging to ahmed to forgive them and actually not to um, give them uh, not to actually um, um, you know give them to king ahmed was actually quite bewildered with all this बीवाइल्डर्ड मीन्स यू नो आज आइटेड वो अचानक घबरा गया ये सब क्या हो रहा है दो ही वॉज बीवाइल्डर दो ही वॉज अहमद रियलाइज दैट दीज मस्ट बी दीप्स ही थोट फास्ट एंड सेट एक्चुअली इन द बिगिनिंग अहमद वॉज बिट अ सरप्राइज एस्टोनेस्ट बट टेन ही जस्ट काम डिम डाउन एंड ही जस्ट थोट दैट दीज दीज आर एक्चुअली द थीप्स एंड दैट इज वाई ही थिंक he made a plan what he should do in this sort of situation or not so ahmed is telling to the chief of the thieves that very well i won't turn you i won't turn you in but you must replace every bit of the treasure so now ahmed is keeping a condition giving a condition to the chief that i will not um, actually um, give you to the king uh, but you will have to return every uh, whatever you have robbed you know all the treasure you will have to return to the king so chief actually said at once at once it will be just returned without any delay that's what the chief of the thief said and before the night was through 40 pairs of hands actually carried 40 chests of gold and jewels back into the king's treasury early the next morning ahmed appeared before the king so on the next night you know all those thieves actually kept um, the, the you know, 40 chests of gold from where they stole them and next morning the king ahmed was appeared in front of the king so now ahmed is actually telling to the king your majesty my magic arts can find either the treasure or the thieves but not both which do you choose you know uh, ahmed is telling to the king that your majesty king my magic tricks it means my magic arts can find both um, can find only one at one time only in either the treasure or the thieves what do you want to um, get you know ahmed is telling to king that ki main ek hi ko khoj sakta hu either the thieves or the treasury so what do you ask me to find so the king said that treasure i suppose though it's a pity not to get the thieves the boiling oil is already for them well never mind tell me where the treasure is and i will send my men right away so actually king um, suggested king give the priority to the treasure over the thieves because he thought that you know the wealth is important the property is important if the wealth uh, if the treasure actually comes on the place then loss should be fulfilled there should be no loss paisa ek bar aa jata hai that's important chor nahi bhi pakde jayenge to kaam chalega do he was already keeping the boiling oil for the thieves and he was plan he, he planned that when the thieves will um, be caught he will put them inside the boiling oil so that was the punishment ready 
for the thieves but um, as ahmed told them that he can find only one of those two either the thieves or the treasure and so king actually asked him to find the treasure so what ahmed will tell them uh, as you know as you have seen here all the thieves already put a, a, all the chest of gold from um, the place where it was it they got them so ahmed is actually telling a no need your majesty pis um, pis pos vis was miss mos by my magic the chest have returned to their place so these are the few magical words that you would have seen in the earlier uh, times in uh, some magical tv shows um, some childish tv shows where you know a, a person a boy who knows some magical tricks they actually uh, chant these words such as piss pause this was miss mos so he just murmured these words and told the king that from my magic all the treasury have been come back all the trust all the treasure have returned from uh, there they belong there they actually belong the king himself went with ahmed to the treasury and found it so so actually king um, um, taking the ahmed with him uh, went to the place where all the treasury was kept and actually found the or oh, found all the treasury there as all the thieves actually already kept that treasury there so after getting that after getting back his treasure actually king was very happy and he would say that you are truly the greatest fortune teller of the age you know of the age here means in of all time from this day forth you shall be my royal diviner so now um, uh, king is actually making the ahmed as his royal diviner but ahmed is telling uh, ahmed is actually bowing you know he just bow down in front of the king aisa karna hota hai you will have to bow down in front of this king kasar jhukana hoga and then he said thank you your majesty and further he is saying that indeed i am honored sire sire is the word um, uh, that be uh, you know that in olden times uh, it refers to king you know made a respectful words to give the respect to the um, king be generally use this word and sometime you can uh, use this word um, to call your grandfather also grand sire like this but i am afraid that's impossible since finding the um, finding and restoring your treasure was so difficult it used up all my powers i shall never be a diviner again so ahmed is making a ex- making an excuse here as he is not truly a diviner luck has actually favored him that is why he he was saved and he somehow found that just by coincidence just by luck uh actually he he all those thieves actually uh, he got to know them and that is why he cannot you know he cannot be a permanent diviner he cannot be always true so he is telling that you know in finding your treasury i have lost all my powers now my all the powers have been used up in that so in future i would not able to make any fortune telling i would not able to predict anything in future i will not able to use my magical art any more now as i have used up all of them in finding your treasure so king is telling to them no matter what a loss he is saying that oh it's a big loss you have lost your magical arts in finding my treasure so i will give you doubly rewards you know i will you must be rewarded doubly here take two of the chest of your own so from those 40 chests of jewelry king gave actually two of the chest to ahmed so ahmed returned home to jamel safe rich and good deal wise and as many diviner could have foretold they lived happily ever after so now you know ahmed become a good dealer now from now on and um, from here on anyone can predict you any diviner could say you that they live happily ever after since then so with this student we have come to an end of this interesting uh, story uh, the 40 fortunes 
and tomorrow we will see question and answer and then we will move on to our next chapter